What's up, Capricorn? This is Soul. And Capricorn, this is your uh, bi weekly message beginning October 23rd through November 5th, 2017. The messages will also be for Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising. All right, Capricorn, I hope all is well. Let's get right into your messages here. Now, I do feel that um, before I hit the record button, that your focus for some of you I'm about to read for is on work. And, you know, possibly finances as well. So we have the three of pentacles as the overall leading energy. And I did forget to select your uh, Halloween uh, oracle to support your reading. Uh, trying to rush things because I've been having technical difficulties with these other videos. So I just didn't want to run into any problems. But let me select the card for you to support your reading. Okay, Jack of Lantern. I'll get to that. I have to look that up. Anyway, so focus on work. But the best part is, you know, getting along well with others within the workplace environment and along with, um, you know, people outside of your workplace environment. With the Three of Pentacles, that's always getting along well with others, all right? Uh, three represent those love triangles. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. It just simply means that there could be an attraction going on with someone that you work with and they're attached or you're attached and someone has an attraction um, with you. OK, it may not lead to anything physical, but it could be just someone crushing on you, you crushing on them. All right. But they're not available. You're not available. So take it for you know what it is when it comes to that workplace environment, even though it's all about the three of Pentacles working well and doing things together um, to achieve a common goal. There's somebody in that group that ain't going to be uh, dependent upon because the Knight of Pentacles is sitting underneath that three of Pentacles and it's in the reverse. So the Knight as uh, the Knight in shining armor. This is just for those who are dealing with a situation. If you're working together on a work project and somebody here put you or let you down. OK, somebody let you down. That's what these nights mean when they're in the reverse. They don't come through. So if it's not related to the workplace environment, the Knight of Pentacles is still showing up for those other Capricorns, which the Pentacles represent Taurus, Virgo and your energy. And that could be almost any zodiac sign. But I'm just giving you an indication of what could potentially unfold whether or not it's happening with true earth signs or not. But this Knight of Pentacles in the uh, reverse position for those other Capricorns, someone that um, is not going to be, this is the financial aspect because it's the Pentacles, someone is not going to come through for you financially. Maybe you were looking for some sort of financial support from someone, brother, sister, mother. Um, this is a Knight, so it could represent male, could represent you know, females, since I read for males and females, this person is not to be dependent on because, see, depending on the element and, you know, the night, this is someone that you can strongly de uh, depend, you know, depend on. They're coming through for you, for sure. But when they're in the reverse, that means there's no um, dependency. You can't depend on this person. If you were looking to borrow money, uh, from a family member, a friend, or whatever. And also, too, because I don't have the king or the queen of pentacles, that could represent anything in the, um, you know, credit spectrum, if applying for credit. They don't come through for you, okay? They let you down or disappoint you financially. King of Cups or the Knight of Cups. Now, interestingly enough, because the Knight of Cups follows the three uh, pentacles, and this is why I said that there could be uh, a Capricorn who's, uh, has a crush on someone, someone has a crush on you. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female in the workplace environment. But also this is a, a night that is in the upright and this person comes through for you emotionally. Okay? The Knight of Pentacles financially. Knight of Cups emotionally. So this could be a new relationship. It's underneath the uh, High Priestess. Yeah, the High Priestess which is a major arcana. Now I would have loved to have seen or had this card come up in the upright because this is about two people and it's a partnership card, but it could mean something totally different. It may be indicative of a relationship of someone because this high priestess always gives me a different feel. You know, like if there's a relationship 
then you're dating or in a relationship with someone who's different from you, okay? This could be also um, stretched as far as, you know, like same sex, female, male, male, um, different race, different culture, different religion. So maybe this is why it's coming in the reverse and it's underneath the Knight of Cups, which is also um, very positive for uh, love and romance. Someone's there to support you emotionally. Now, again, the working, yeah, the focus on work and finances come into play. Ten of Pentacles is showing up. This is your energy again. So this could be part of the uh, abundance or this is a card of inheritance for me. So some of you may be getting some sort of windfall. This could be related to, you know, the stock market, some sort of boost in the stock market, someone getting a bonus. Uh, yeah, this is very very big a bonus uh substantial pay raise commission okay now think in terms of the night that's in the reverse this might just be a separate message for those individuals who were you know more or less relying on like family members or um you know creditors and stuff like that that person or those persons may not come through for you i'm not saying persons even though i did it could be just one person that if say, you know, for example, it was a close friend and, and, you know, you talked in the past with this, you know, this close friend and they were going to help you out financially. If you had needed some sort of financial assistance, then all of a sudden they did a turnaround and then the night's showing up in the reverse. They can't come through for you. Someone that you cannot de depend on. Uh, and because it is the pentacles, it's not someone that you can depend on on a long term basis. OK. All right. Abundance coming in for some of you. However form it comes in. Now, interestingly enough, we got a lot of people here. The King of Cups. Now, the mirror to the Knight of Cups is the King of Cups in the reverse. So maybe somebody's feeling some type of way emotionally. The Kings always give me an older type of feel. So I might, if it comes to a relationship, uh, because this is a general reading and I'm trying to pull in all energies for you, covering all areas, it could be an older a uh, water sign that, you know, is feeling some type of way emotionally. This could be your parent. This could be your uh, father, mother, grandfather, grandmother. Or it could be, oh. It could be something to do with the inheritance. The king of cups comes after the ten of pentacles so maybe there's something going on um hmm. i'm gonna leave that one alone so whatever this means for you okay this is what i'm saying some sort of money coming in large sum of money through a person whoever this person is that's in the reverse king of cups could be a true water sign it could be any zodiac sign in this any but they're, if they're feeling some type of way It's an emotional kind of feeling. It's a, it's a deep, deep emotional kind of thing. All right. Uh, like I said before, I like to try to keep these like simple and not get too deep on things that I'm picking up and I'm feeling. And I know people will say, oh, just go ahead and say what you want to say. No, mm -mm, I'm not going to do that. Somebody's getting money from someone who's older that's either related or attached to them. All right. So I talked about the high priestess, talked about the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles. See, that's that money coming in. New job coming in on offer is in the reverse and it doesn't really matter. It's just that if the new job is coming in, it's still coming through. Fresh starts, new beginnings with the aces, but they might be doing, you know, background checks, security clearances. But you're getting that job if there's a Capricorn or two that's been waiting for a job. And I like the fact that this is underneath that Ten of Pentacles, okay? So stay positive if you're looking for work or if you're looking for that promotion. This could indicate a promotion to, more, you know, getting more money, okay? But the delay is trying to get approval for the position or whatever it is that they're trying to do for you. All right, so the other thing, the last card that I have for you, Capricorn, is the Fool in the reverse. Somebody's scared of something. Okay, underneath this king, somebody's not willing to take a risk somewhere. This is uh, in the upright. This is what the fool represents, taking that leap of faith. 
going out there to venture into the unknown and allowing the universe to support whatever it is that you're venturing out and taking a risk on. But somebody is fearful. Okay, this is what it means in the reverse. The full major arcana in the reverse means that someone is hesitant and taking a leap forward into whatever. Okay, now I like the fact that it's in the reverse and the message is coming forward. See, when the card is in the reverse, then the person on the on the picture is facing a different direction. Someone is scared to take a risk going towards the future. Whatever that risk is for you, okay, because I can spend all day trying to, you know, spit out what every possible thing could be, but you are very smart uh, Capricorn and you can figure it out for yourself. The message, however, is succumb to your fears don't succumb to your fears and allow your fears to not control you because this risk card is all about doing the things that um you know that you're fearful of but you have to put those fears aside and just know that this is what life is about you have to take those chances you have to take those risks whatever the losses potential or projection of a loss may be associated with this don't succumb to it just let it go try your best to let it go all right so with that being said that is your uh reading capricorn let me go find um jack-o-lantern it says protection though underneath jack-o-lantern but i just need to give you the um textbook okay description of what it means all right so it just says here basically know that you are protected and that you are capable that's that fool card you know fear capable yeah capable of creating the life that you want and that the universe supports you in this should jack wait a minute Creating the life that you want and that the universe supports you in this should Jack shine his light upon you. Now, that didn't make sense. So I don't know if that was a, a typographical error. Boundaries are important to teach people how to treat us. And drawing this card indicates that you may wish to renew the ones you have or to establish new ones. Wow. The Jack O'Lantern fits right into this fool card. It says, because I said, let the universe... You know, the fool is all about in the upright taking that leap of faith and allowing the universe to support whatever it is that you want to bring to you. The jack-o'-lantern is saying the same thing. So I know I'm reading for a Capricorn that's fearing some sort of aspect of his his or her future. Okay, but don't have any fear. Don't succumb to that. Let it go. Life is all about chances, risk, and you have to uh, take those um, risk sometimes when it's necessary and when it's not so necessary. You never know what the outcome is going to be if you don't. All right, Capricorn, I hope this is helpful and beneficial. Don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information. Uh, with that being said, I wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks. Uh, until I talk to you again, Capricorn, please be well. Bye. <laughs>